My original symptoms were um, very, very heavy bleeding. Linda Campo came to Good Samaritan Medical Center on the advice of her primary care doctor. I had had an ultrasound and found that there were um, some um, fibroids on my uterus. Linda's timing was perfect. Good Samaritan had just begun using the newest robotic technology for women's surgeries. It's definitely a technology that's taking off, but for example, in this area of the South Shore, Good Samaritan is the first hospital to have the robot. That's a huge benefit to our patients in this region. Dr. Sohil Hanjani is a respected OBGYN at the hospital, having delivered literally thousands of babies. But he is also known for his skill with the robot. So it's almost like flying a helicopter. You have to be comfortable using all four limbs. The surgeon basically can operate using the tips of the instruments as if they're using their hands, but now they don't have to do a big incision to get there. Dr. Hanjani says the robot is a godsend for patients like Linda. Linda came to me because she had significant problems with her fibroids, needed a hysterectomy, and traditionally she would have had a hysterectomy through a large incision, a six to eight week recovery, two or three days in hospital, and a lot of pain. Instead, we offered her a robotic hysterectomy where she had the surgery through small incisions, went home the day after, and recovered in two to three weeks. One month after surgery, Linda now moves with a spring in her step. As an active mother of three and a dental hygienist, she simply couldn't take the longer recovery time traditional surgery would have cost her. Your recovery wasn't as good as expected. My recovery was better than I expected, actually. Um, I didn't really need to take any medicine for pain. Meanwhile, Dr. Hanjani is discovering that when he outlines the choices for his patients, traditional surgery or robotic surgery, his patients don't hesitate. We go through the range of options, but any patient who's thought it through will immediately jump at the robot. And my patients have been very, very excited about this. The fact that I can offer them a minimally invasive surgery instead of a big incision is a winner. I've had no patient who turned it down. Not a single one? Not a single one. Dr. Hanjani, from the beginning, was very personable, very cheerful. Um, he explained the procedure very, very well to me, the options that I had. He wasn't um, pressuring me to do one or the other. Very comfortable, listened to all my questions, um, and through the whole procedure and the recovery, he was, he was just awesome. What do you see for yourself moving forward? Are any uses of the robot? I think we're going to start using the robot for more and more surgeries. For example, in my field, hysterectomy is usually the number one choice. Now we're moving into using it for fibroid removal, for surgery for endometriosis, which is a very common problem some young, young women have, and the robot allows us to do better dissection. So I think we're going to keep refining the surgery and then offering it for more and more conditions. I feel better than I did before the surgery because I don't have to worry about the symptoms that I was having before. Um, and I know that it's been taken care of and I just feel better.